What is going on everybody it is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys man is we got a pair of the Flash Streetwear SBs and yesterday I posted a little YouTube short on these but I want to give you all a full video review since I know a lot of people are waiting on their pairs from sneakers still uh, shout out Nike for the delays but it, it's normal you know we'll, we'll see uh, you know a couple times a year with different releases even more than a couple times a year at this point uh, you know just shipments will get delayed you know it'll, just be, it'll take a little bit for things to come in but this is from a skate shop I bought this some uh, off somebody I did have to pay resale if anybody's asking but it does have the retail sticker on it uh, would have been nice if it retail but didn't hit locally so if y'all want more content like this well it hit some retail on sneakers it's just like i'm still waiting on the oh and also interrupting quick can we hit like tuner likes on this video just helps to get out there more lets me know y'all want more like this appreciate it but if you want more content just like this sneaker review right here feel free to check us out down below uh you know or check my instagrams down below again i'm going to start posting regular content there soon you can also check my group down below uh this was actually sold to a member for way under market along with so many other pairs the free aco we offer teaching people to bot if you're interested in just upping your resale game or learning how you can potentially cop more sneakers and profitable items to flip join our waiting room down below talk with us learn more about what we offer or just join our wait list so i hope to see you guys there and let's get started so first things first that i want to mention about the Flash Streetwear SB right here. As you guys can see, one of the main details about the shoes, we got this nice blue suede that goes around the whole sneaker. And that's probably my favorite part of the shoe would have to be the blue suede. I mean, there is a lot of other, uh, you know, portions of the sneaker. For example, the swoosh that is resembling uh, the gardenia flower. I originally thought this was resembling a fishing line due to the fact, you know, we had the fly right here and also this portion as well. Uh, and, you know, it does look like that, but according uh, to, you know, pretty much what everyone else has told me, they're like, yeah, it does look like that, but it's actually representative presenting the gardenia flower so hence why the name on sneakers was the gardenia sb dunk low uh when you know they dropped the collab so that's just you know one thing to keep in mind but another cool detail we have is also the laces of this one not like your typical dunk low or sb just a little bit different again this is this is why i love sbs because it's always a little bit different than you know your, your typical dunk and of course the portion back by the heel here we got kind of this uh, neon green with the nike logo that is embroidered on as well and you can see how that all contrasts it's just a very wearable colorway that's another thing about the sneaker it's not too crazy but it's just one that is it kind of seems like a collector's item uh you know almost i know it's not one that's necessarily common like sneakers didn't drop a lot of stock of these that's one thing i know so it's not like this is you know your everyday very common sb like in a few years these will be very hard to get that's one thing i can't say so if you're willing to wait uh you know long term that's that that's a good bet in my opinion one thing i want to say is with the current prices if you have a pair in hand and you're like you know uh you know i'm kind of looking to reinvest this capital maybe sell it off right now and then you know look into the next release or just wait until the pairs from sneakers land and then start investing in some pairs of these because keep in mind uh you know again those sneakers pairs are still on the way so those can't be sold since they're not in hand but a lot of people are going to want to sell their pairs once they get them in hand you know from nike and uh you know the, the main location where they were at so keep in mind market could be dropping uh you know coming soon for these just because there is a lot on the way but doesn't mean that it isn't a you know good long-term bet patience is always uh, you know one of the best things you can do especially with an sb in like big sizes any size really just big sizes especially don't sell it off just wait these in like size 13 though are going for like 300 so if you want to take that sale that's not a bad bet at all i, I fully respect that but hey if you wait a couple years it's gonna be even more so just one thing i thought i would mention and another, another portion that we have on the sneaker would have to be uh, the unique insole we have it on uh, you know this one and it's also on the other sb let me show y'all uh that right now there's a couple unique de uh, details on the other pair compared uh to this one let me sh uh, see if i can show y'all those one second i'm just trying to like tuck the laces in here um there's like a little bit of dirt on this insole because i'm pretty sure you know like a skate shop employee tried this pair on but you know i could just be wrong uh on that but another detail, uh, another detail i will show you all is the tongue tag right here we get the fly streetwear sb logo pretty cool right there and then also uh we got the nike sb logo which is on this uh you know insole and you can see again another unique design you can see both of them are kind of uh you know a little bit different this one like has a fly this one doesn't really have that uh, right there, you know, it's just two different two separate designs in the insole So thought I would show that uh, and mention that to you guys But overall very well done dunk low and you guys can see what I mean by the different tongue tags Each one is unique. You got the flash street wear logo on one and you got the Nike SB logo on one Both the heel uh, portions of the sneaker are the exact same. There's nothing different here about that um, You know, you see you got the typical like SB scuff marks that you see on the back I don't know why the pair uh, like a lot of SBs do that whenever I'm unboxing them It's just because of you know the suede they're made of but they are always nice and materials and this seems like it'd be a very comfortable pair honestly this is my size i'm considering it it's a nine um so i might uh you know tow these or something like that but i did sell these again to a member for way under market price so always trying to you know have profitable flips for you guys on a daily basis in the group that's one of the main things uh that we offer uh, so again feel free to use that five 
off code, learn about us. We also like dropped a ton of methods recently where like you can turn like 50 bucks, 100 bucks into like 299. Like there, there's a lot of really cool things that we have within the group that you can take advantage of. So I heavily recommend that. But another thing as well that you may notice about these, uh, this tongue tag is that it's a little bit different in terms of material. This is not like your regular tongue tag. It's kind of like that, uh, you know, leather material that we have here on, uh, you know, uh, the, the toe box. It's pretty much like the same as that, but a little bit softer, if that makes sense. So something that's also a little bit different and it's right there on the insole or not on the insole, but on the tongue tag. And the swoosh is the same on both the sneakers on the inside portion. You guys can see nothing has changed up there. And then on the outside portion right here, you can see it is both, uh, you know, that same exact, uh, you know, part that looks like fishing line, but that's not what it is. It, it is uh, representing the gardenia flower from what I've been told. But overall, again, that blue suede hits so well on the sneaker uh, in person. I'm probably just going to have to get a personal pair of these. But again, I'm waiting since I believe prices are going to drop. I I'm, I'm waiting until, you know, the sneakers pairs start landing because Nike isn't going to just cancel all those orders and redrop them. I know they wouldn't do that. So personally, I'm just waiting for the pairs to come in and then, you know, I'll, I'll do my thing. I'll get my personal pair, uh, get more for deals. That's always what I try and do, uh, you know, for anybody that is in the group. So overall, what would I give these on a scale of one to 10? I'd probably give them like an eight out of 10. It's a very wearable colorway, very simple sneaker. There isn't really anything that I don't like about it. Um, you know, it just, it isn't like, you know, some of the other SBs that we have coming up, like Born and Raised and April Skateboards SBs. I'm, I'm huge on those ones coming up, but this one is definitely a unique collaboration uh, that I'm rocking with. Very simple to wear, uh, nice style overall. I like what it represents. So got to give a shout out to Nike and Flash Streetwear for making a pretty dope pair right here. Uh, this is actually, I think, their first uh, SB Dunk Low collaboration, if I'm correct. I know they've collabed before on a different sneaker model, but pretty cool that they at least got something going with SB. So let me know your thoughts on this. And there's the, you know, kind of simple insole, we dis uh, in insole design we have, kind of that gray, uh, with, you know, kind of that cream colorway that matches, uh, you know, the whole like kind of top portion we have here on like the midsole and, uh, you know, the swoosh. It matches that, if that makes sense. So again, let me know your thoughts on these guys. And uh, uh, yeah, again, favorite ports, uh, parts of the sneaker would have to be probably the laces, uh, and then also, again, that blue suede that goes around the whole sneaker. I love blue suede, and that, that so clean. You can see that. I mean, I, hopefully you can tell on camera, very, very clean in person. So that's how I'm feeling about these one, uh, these ones right here. But if you guys want more unboxing content like this, you want, uh, you know, check me out down below. Feel free to do that, guys. And let's also try and get 200 likes on this video. I think I said that at the start. So again, it would mean a lot if we could do that. Again, just helps the video get out there more. Let's me know that y'all want more unboxing content like this. And check us out down below. Again, join that wait list. And I hope to see you guys there or join a waiting room if you have any questions about what we offer. But again, we're always trying to help people hit clips. We had lots of people hit 10 plus pairs on Pandas recently. Uh, the daily under market deal we offer giveaways profitable clothing backdoors uh, you know just general resale advice again teaching you how to make money online like turning 50 or 100 uh, you know into like 200 300 and that's not even like sneaker related stuff so we have a lot of very helpful stuff that's recently been uh, recently been added so I hope to see you guys there and uh, yeah I'll be in the group to help you guys out that's always what I'm trying to do so that's it guys let me know your thoughts on this SB and see you guys down below on the wait list or in the waiting room just ask your questions I hope to see you guys there but catch you on the next video I'm Tristan and see you then. Peace.